You all love the first episode that I did of the community FAQs for Dying Light 2. Once again, for this series, I take questions from the community in the comments, research them, and try to find answers, and to more importantly, start a discussion with everybody. It's best to hear everybody's thoughts, try to keep engagement alive, and to overall make the community better. As always, we have three topics for today, so let's just dive right into it. Starting with the first one, we actually had three questions relating to the same topic, so I took all of them. Will the story involve brand new characters, or will the old characters be making a return? Alex also said, will Kyle be in Dying Light 2, or will the Night Hunter be in Dying Light 2, and where are we playing exactly? And lastly, from someone, they asked a multi-part question, but the part I want to pay attention to the most is, will the events of the following affect Dying Light 2? So it's confirmed that no one from the tower will be returning into the new game. This was confirmed a while ago from a Q&A with the developers, so therefore it's expected that we'll only have new characters into the story, no old characters at all will be making a return. As we know, the game takes place 15 years after the original, and the virus has spread to numerous countries around the world. Dying Light 2 takes place in a city in Europe, and since the virus has spread, it ultimately does not matter which ending you choose in the following. In a way, both endings are canon and it's up to the player to choose so. So basically, if you nuke Quran, that ultimately did not stop the virus so it'll still go and spread. If you turned, once again, same thing. In both endings, Crane is not himself, he's either exploded or turned. People at other places of the world will have no idea who Crane is, even Aiden. With all of this, it's safe to say that Crane will not be returning, however, there may be one way to get him into the game. And that could be with easter eggs, subtle nods, and references. This one is pure speculation on my end, but I do know that Teclan loves to have easter eggs into their game, their original had tons and tons of them. I can really see Techland doing something like this and referencing back to the original character that we did play, whether it's something big or little nods and things here and there, I think that's our best chance of having some sort of reference of Kyle into the game. But other than that, we can't expect Crane or Brecken to be returning into the sequel. Now, referring back to that multi-part question that we had earlier, will there be some customization to Aiden into the game? And yes, of course there is actually. So things such as the outfit system are actually improved. So the goal now is to have the player have more freedom of choice this time. Extra features will be coming, extra additions, and more. From reading this tweet from Techland, it really does sound like they are expanding heavily on the original customization tools. The original did offer a lot of options, but you're really only limited to one outfit at a time. As we have heard, customization is different, and there are certain parts you can customize instead of just one outfit. And on top of this, you have parts of the body that can be specifically customized. Additionally, there is not a single outfit like there is in the original Dying Light. So it sounds like they're going to really give you the opportunity to mix and match different pieces of gear. Maybe you want a certain hood or hat, you want to change up your shirt or pants, you're going to be able to do that in this game. For a visual example, so don't look at any power gear, I'm going to use Destiny 2. But in here, you can customize your gear, you can change certain parts of your body, change your helmet, arms, chest piece, and boots. Maybe Dying Light 2 will inherit some of the qualities from games like this where you can change what you want depending on the body part that it is. Lots of games do this nowadays, lots of RPGs do this, I just wanted to use Destiny 2 as that's a familiar example for many people. But honestly, I love this idea, I am certainly a fan of more customization, having the option to do this really makes the game more personal to you, it makes your character more personal to you. What we have heard so far is truly a good step in the right direction, and I can't wait to see what they do in the final product. Anyways, that's that wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like to really show your support on this series. If you would like to submit a question to be featured on the channel, leave a comment down below and you might be chosen. You can ask as many questions as you would like, so feel free to leave as many comments as you would like. The more comments you do, the higher chance that you have to be into the video. But to really end, make sure you are subscribed, and I thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful Monday, or I guess whatever day you watch this on. All right, well, bye-bye.